Hello, uh, in this video, we are going to look at how we can schedule a job uh, in the background to daily run. Um, let's say, for example, you wanted to, to run daily and then you wanted to have a print out. Okay, so we're going to just pick a program which is basically uh, this, this program. So if we go system status, this will show us the program which we are going to run. So the program is SL, ASL square ALR, uh, or transaction is SL square ALR 8712236. And the program name is RFSKPL00. So we are going to look at how we are going to schedule this program in the background. And also we are going to see how we are going to set up a variant so that the program does not run for the entire list it gets but it you are will we are only going to uh, set it to a certain parameter so it will only run on certain parameters so let's say for example let's come back here so i'm going to run this program so it's going to be general ledger information system general ledger reports chart of accounts so i'm going to run this So it's going to show me the entire list. It's going to show me the entire list. Okay. So, but I don't want to do that. I want to only run this program daily for chart of accounts relevant to US account group SAKO. Okay. This is a setting I want to run. So, if I look at this, it's only going to be one page. Okay. It's only going to be one page. So how do I do that? So what I need to do first is need to create a variant. Okay. So for that we just need to hit save. So when I hit save, it's going to ask me for a variant name. So I'm going to put just give a name. Okay. So I'm going to give a So I'm going to give a Z test variant and then test variant is my name. Okay. So I'm going to give that don't no, we don't have to do anything else here. You just need to give a name and then hit save. Okay. So one of the things we need to note down is we need to go system status. Then we need to note down this program name. Okay, we need to note down this program name. Now the next transaction we are going to look at is we are going to look at transaction SM36 slash N S M36. Okay. So we are going to look at transaction SM36. So this is where we are going to define the job. This is where we are going to define the job. So this is my job name C G Z batch test RFS L A 001. Okay, this is my job name. So you can put any num any name you want, but normally you will have a naming convention. If it's a finance job, you will have Z F I N. If it's if it's a if it's a S D job, you will have Z S D. If it's a H R job, you will have Z H R. So you will usually follow a naming convention. So hit on start condition. Sorry, we hit on steps. Steps. So here is a key. Okay. So this is the user ID which this batch program is going to use. It's not going to use technically. Normally the user ID will be if it's a HR job. It will be Z HR batch or finance job Z finance batch. So it will be a unique ID which is running this batch job or or a group of batch jobs which belong to one functional team. Okay. So it's not going to be your own user ID. When the job fails, you need to come here to the job and then look for which ID is executing this job. Okay. So one thing we need to do is control V. We just we're going to copy the program. 
and then I'm going to pull up this variant. So this is where I'm specifying what variant this program is going to run under. Okay. So I'm going to put the program name and then the variant is tied to the program. Okay. I'm going to hit save. So now we, we can see clearly here this is a program name. This is the variant and then this is the user ID which is running. Okay. So let's go back. Hit save. So we don't, you need to make sure you hit save. Only then the job is, so you need to get a, a status saying that job saved and status scheduled. Job status status scheduled. Now we define the job. Now we need to specify how frequently it's going to run. Okay. Now we're going to specify how frequently it's going to run. So click on start condition. So we're going to put a date time. So let's say we're going to say periodic job. So period values. So we're going to say daily and save. For, so there you can specify what time and then that will run daily at that particular time. So for uh, time restrictions, we are going to switch just to immediate. Okay, we'll click immediate. Take off this periodic job. Save. Save again. 